Hi there, welcome to the Gloaming Sea Resort. Here for a vacation, that will be just 1,000 caps. No, no, don't, don't leave. Uh, you'll miss out on all the wonderful landmarks. In fact, I'll even plan the best ones for you to visit. How about that? Today, I'll be listing my top five locations in the Glowing Sea, and then maybe you'll think about getting a room. What do you say? Number one, we have Skylanes Flight 1665, and this can be found just southwest of Relay Tower 0DB521. Now, this is a jet airliner that was actually in the process of landing when the first bomb fell and took it out of the sky. And we can learn this by listening to the final transmission holotape located in the cockpit. Approaching Boston from the west. We've got heavy winds, but it shouldn't be a problem. Lining up for runway two at heading... What the hell is that? Some kind of bright light from the north! Of all plane crashes in Fallout 4, this is the only one with one of its wings still attached, and you know, that's probably because it had already been so close to the ground when it was struck, so overall it really has remained pretty intact. And this crash site is also scattered with luggage bags, so if you've been looking for a flashy new outfit, come and have a browse. See, I'm sure the passengers would have been flattered that it's their clothes that you decided to wear. Number two, we have this abandoned shack. Ah, but you see, hidden underneath the shack is Federal Surveillance Center K-21B, and this is a secret bunker that was designed by the government. You see, its purpose was to house government surveillance workers in the case of atomic war, so that they could just keep on with their work. And at first, there were actually people who used this to survive. Problem is, you can find a holotape that details the final days of those inside, and essentially, you'll learn that because of budget cuts and a lack of food, everyone died of starvation. So, great, all your tax dollars went to building this vast underground network outfitted with protectrons and high-end technology, but they can't just add some more canned peaches to the... Uh, anyway, but if you like to explore and you want to be awarded with a U.S. Covert Operations Manual, this is a definite place to check out. Number three, we can't talk about the glowing sea and not bring up the Crater of Adam, and this is of course the exact spot where the bomb fell that destroyed all of Massachusetts. Now, if you've played the main story, you will know that this is inhabited by the children of Adam, and they're not hostile, so if you want to just set up a beach chair and get a nice tan, a nice green glow, they won't stop you. In fact, everyone looks so exhausted here, I bet you could just run around pushing people over and they won't do anything about it. They just sort of lie there and decide to take a nap. Um, but above the crater, there's this constant yellowish-greenish aura, and depending on where you are, this can be seen far across the Commonwealth. So, honestly, it's kind of like the Aurora Borealis. It's just a lot worse for the, all the birds. Number four, we have the Hope's March Pentecostal Church, and this can be found southwest of Alt 95. Now, at first glance, this church just looks like it's been closed off, not really a whole lot to it, but actually, you can jump through the roof to the inside, and when you do, there are ghouls that are waiting to attack you. And these are likely the churchgoers who had been in the service at the time the bombs fell. There's also a safe that you can unlock, but I don't know, I, I, I feel weird about it. I mean, this is a holy place, after all. Oh, wait, I just killed all of those ghouls. Ah, oh, crap. And number five, we have the Sentinel Site, which can be found southeast of the Crater of Adam. And this is much more than just a pyramid. You see, before the war, this was a military facility that was working on improving U.S. nuclear bombs. Now, where it gets its design, it's actually based off the real Stanley R. Mickelson Safeguard Complex. And this was essentially an anti-ballistic missile program that was back in the 1970s. And its purpose, of course, was to intercept and destroy incoming missiles. Now, unfortunately, the Fallout 4 version wasn't really able to prevent anything, as we know. However, what's interesting is that, given the site's military purpose and its close proximity to where the bomb was dropped, it's very likely that during the Great War, this is the very spot that the Chinese had been aiming for. So clearly, while it was active, it had been making enough headway to be considered, you know, a top priority target. And now, hundreds of years later, the blast doors are still locked, waiting to be breached. And there you have it, my top five locations in the glowing sea. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And down below, please tell me, how much of the glowing sea have you explored? Alright, thank you very much for watching. And now that you've seen some of the wonders of this region, how about booking that vacation? Hmm? The sights, the smells, it's, it's all very... pungent. <laughs>